Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Welcome to Tuned in Tuesday with Telly. So today I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about tuning in with your inner self-talk, with your inner monologue. But before that, I would like to relax the mood a little bit with my singing bowl. so relaxing it is so peaceful it's such a amazing vibration and frequency that comes from this little bowl this little bowl is ex extremely powerful and I've been practicing so I'm excited <laughs> so yes so inner self-talk inner monologue I think that for me um, with my journey it was extremely important for me to be conscious of my self-talk, conscious of my inner monologue. And um, I realized that, um, I realized that I was speaking to myself in a negative way before I, you know, before I gained my spiritual wealth and before I had my awakening. So even after that, you still can slip into those negative thoughts or, um, or those doubtful thoughts so I had to I had to do things to help my inner talk my inner monologue and um, yeah so I did things to help so that I can make sure that the conversation that I'm having with myself is always a positive conversation and it's always something that is going to serve me at the end of the day so when you are um, when you have negative uh, thoughts a negative self-talk with yourself like oh I'm, you know I'm always tired or I'm always lazy or anything like that then that can put lots of blocks and that can block you from from manifesting and just block you from from living your best life and from having good days and things like that so we want to try as much as we can to have positive self-talk within us and sometimes that is difficult because our thoughts can get away from us and when you have one thought then it um the law of attraction then you get another thought that's similar to it and it goes on and on and on so that works with a positive thought as well as with a negative thought so the way that i helped myself um just have lots of lots of positive self-talk lots of positive monologue within myself was I used affirmations affirmations are so amazing so if you don't know what affirmation is an affirmation is um, well the word affirmation just means to like affirm something but an affirmation is a positive phrase or statement um, and it's used to challenge negative thoughts and it's also used when someone wants to manifest something so um, a lot of people use I am um, affirmations I am affirmations are very um, very positive and very uplifting and very they will raise your vibrations and things like that so most of the time a lot of people use I am affirmations like I am happy I am healthy I am positive things like that so a lot of people use and I for one use positive affirmations to help with my um, with my self-talk on a daily basis if I feel like I'm going down that path of a negative thought then I will turn it around and I will do an affirmation to help myself to get back to thinking positive and speaking to myself positive um, yeah so I think that it's so important for us to catch it when we um, in the beginning and to be conscious of it and that's something that takes time it takes time to um, to be conscious of your thoughts and to 
think about every it sounds funny think about every thought that you think about but it's important to do that because if you don't then your thoughts can get away from you and um yeah and then it will it can turn into um, you having a bad day or a bad moment or something like that so um, I'll give you an example so this happened to me the other day so if you guys saw my post I was having um, a moment and it started with a negative thought and that negative thought turned into negative self-talk and then that negative self-talk turned into um, lowering my vibrations and then lowering my vibrations turned into me being upset me being upset turned into me crying so not that it was a bad thing because I think that crying and getting out your emotions is a release and releasing those emotions are always a good thing but we want to make sure that we are always speaking to ourselves positive and we're always trying to uplift ourselves yes we're gonna have those moments where we need to release um, whether it be crying or sleeping or taking a shower or even screaming into a pillow if that is what you need to do but sometimes yes we do need to release our um, our inner feelings and get them out and that's what I did and actually I felt better once I cried and got it out and I said okay now i can do this i can handle this i know i'm going to see my family very soon and i know things are working out and things are getting better so i'm happy that i was able to do that um i'm happy that i was able to um act to also to bounce back quick quicker than i used to so before um before i had my spiritual awakening and before i got my spiritual wealth I it took me a while to bounce back so a negative thought could last a whole day or even two days for me when I was in the lower vibrations but now that I'm in a higher vibrational level and I am a positive spiritual person it takes me quicker to bounce back because because I'm, I'm on a different vibrational level than I used to be so if I feel sad and if I release myself cry or whatever I need to do I can bounce back within 20 minutes and I can be fine again and I can smile and I can you know give myself positive talk and positive affirmations and get myself back where I need to be and back on that um, vibrational level which is you know high vibrations which I you know which I always want to be at you know but realistically it's not always like that but as long as we know that we can get back to that happy high vibrational place then that is what is important so yes so yeah so just make sure that you are in tune with yourself you're in tune with your self-talk you're in tune with your inner monologue try to um use affirmations positive affirmations i have lots of positive affirmations um, for next week, tuned in Tuesday, I will be doing um, I'll be doing just affirmations. I'll talk for like two minutes, but I'll be doing mostly affirmations for next week. Um, I'll tell you guys my favorite affirmation, one that I use on a daily basis that gets me through my day and that I say when I wake up in the morning um, after I do my meditation. Um, my favorite affirmation is everything is always working out for me i will say i will say it in that way everything is always working out for me and i will always, and i will also say it in another way which is um what did i say everything is always working out for me oh and things are always going my way so those two affirmations i really love um they get me through my day they make me happy they are true and it's so funny because let me tell you guys this so when I use my affirmation it can be something so small it can be like um, oh my gosh let's think it can be like um, it can be like okay when it can be like when I went in the refrigerator something was gonna fall and it didn't fall and I caught it and I'm like oh my gosh everything's always working out for me like I just always say that always and I use it for bigger things too like if I 
to make a lot of money or if something good happens I just use it all the time so I'm, I'm setting my my subconscious up and I'm setting myself up for a positive for just being positive in general so if I say everything is always working out for me every time something works out for me which is if it could be something big or something small then I'm setting myself up for that good inner positive self-talk and um, yeah it's just good it's just awesome so I love it I always use it and um, I hope that you guys join me next week for tuned in Tuesday where I will do my affirmations and I will use my singing bowl once again so thank you guys for joining me um, you guys don't even know how much I really really love doing these videos for you guys so yes so thank you so much for being here and I'm gonna do an outro with this bye guys